Current indications and again, GI bleeding scintigraphy. Um, so my goals are gonna be to kind of, it, it, a lot of this is all, ha uh, before I even get started, how many people are doing GI bleeding scans regularly, at least three or four times? Well, that's, that's interesting to see because the guidelines are taking us away, but we still do a good number of them. How many people are doing static imaging every three to five minutes? Boo. Okay. How many people do Cine or dynamic imaging? Okay, so it's taken, it's, it's like anything else in medicine. It takes a while to get people to moving. So I'm going to try and I'm going to uh, get to, because a lot of the early work we did was with the Cine scintigraphy, which is uh, my bias, but I'm going to overview the clinical presentation and management of geo bleeding. Again, we have lots of guidelines that uh, the referring physicians are following. I'm going to review the American College of Gastroenterology guidelines. We'll talk about the role of angiography, uh, but I'm going to focus on how to optimize both performing and interpreting the GI uh, nuclear, uh, the nuclear medicine bleeding scan. Um, bleeding in general is uh, classified by location. It's typically divided between upper GI bleeding, lower GI bleeding, and uh, this is a very important topic for us who do a lot of nuclear medicine. It's the former, quote, obscure GI bleeding, where you really can't tell where it is. And as you'll see in the talk, I think we get a really um, interesting bias of, I would say, close to 20 to 25 percent of our positive bleeding scans, and sometimes maybe it depends on the month, uh, are small bowel bleeds. And why is that? because standard techniques for upper and lower, they can't find it. They're the occult ones. They're the really hard ones to find, and that's where nuclear medicine really still plays an important role, so we'll get to that. Um, upper GI bleeding is the most frequent cause of GI bleeding. Um, a lot of patients hospitalize, and these are the causes. This was a recent review. You know, most of the bleeding that we're going to see in upper GI bleeding is going to be from gastric or duodenal ulcers. And remember, and we'll get into this, a lot of the guidelines say you don't do nuclear medicine for upper GI bleeding. I don't think that's true, particularly when we'll get into uh, Cine technique. So these are a lot of the causes, uh, uh, varices. Often you can see the varices on a red cell study. They can be very prominent. But